Hey friends, quick disclaimer. Mm -hmm. There are several sides to every story. Your side, my side, and the truth. This is something that happened about 20 years ago when I was a freshly minted adult. So I may be misremembering some things and of course, alleged, alleged, alleged. My cosplay today is a responsible adult who actually does the things that they say they will. So way, way back in 2004, I was in my first very serious relationship, and so was my partner, and we didn't really handle things the best way possible. We had been together maybe a year. We were living together, and we had a roommate, and we were constantly arguing about money. We didn't have a lot of money. Anything that was an extra, we did not spring for. We didn't have cable TV. We had the lowest form of internet we could get. But this man was obsessed with corn dogs. It's all he wanted to eat. Now, granted, corn dogs, not an expensive thing to eat unless you're eating an entire box of 12 in one sitting. This person was absolutely blessed with a metabolism that most of us would only dream of. He could eat boxes upon boxes of corn dogs and cases upon cases of beer and code red. He would drink so much code red, kidneys literally started to shut down. Seriously, we had to go to the hospital. But as usual, we had a huge fight about money. And I said, tell you what, it's all yours. I'll stop doing the budgeting. I'm going to go stay with my mom for two weeks. And he says, fine, I can handle this and I'll do it better than you did. And I'm like, peace out. So I went, I stayed with my mom for a couple of weeks and had a nice little vacation hanging out with her. And then I went back home after two weeks and, oh, he was very proud of himself. He managed to keep the house clean, cleaner than I could, not going to lie. And he proudly took me to the refrigerator and opened it up and it was full of beer and soda and the freezer was full of corn dogs. And he said, that's not all. I also got cable TV and he turns on the TV and sure enough, we've got like 400 channels of nothing anybody wants to watch. Admittedly, I'm kind of freaking out. I'm like, oh, th this means that there's no money. He's like, no, no, there's plenty of money left. You literally had no idea what you were doing with money. I am now in charge of all of the funds. And I'm like, okay, you made it work. The next day, our electric was turned off. He forgot to pay it. Of course, I was very smug about that. We were able to get it turned back on pretty quickly because I did have a little bit of extra money. He worked in a different town at the time. Salem is notorious for not having a lot of places to work. And then I did work in Salem at a treatment center. That's a story for another day. But my car broke down. That dumpster fire of a Dodge Neon finally died. I started driving his car. Well, I noticed it had a really bad smell. Like it's, it smelled like literal death. And I was like, hey, you need to come out and smell the car. So he did. He's like, oh yeah, that's, that's nasty. Mind you, this was in Ozarkian August. It was hot and sticky and horrible. He's looking under the wheel wells. Like, did I hit something and not realize it? Did something crawl in there and die? He pops the hood. He's looking inside under the seats in the glove compartment. Finally get to the trunk of the car and open it up. And the stench hits you like a brick wall. He had also spent about $180 on various meats such as pork tenderloins and ground beef and all kinds of stuff that's really expensive, especially if you're not actually going to eat it because you forgot to take it out of the car. Oh, I was a new level of mad. I was so mad. I actually moved out on October 1st, um, but that wasn't the end of the relationship. It, that whole relationship was a roller coaster ride through hell. It's one of those things that you look back on and laugh, but when it's actually happening, not funny, not funny at all. Man, he ate a lot of corn dogs. All right, that was, I know, a super, super quick one, but I have so much stuff to do. Someone commissioned a custom tarot card, and this is, I'm not even sure how big this is. This is a big piece of paper. That's all for today. I'll be back next week with another fantastic story from my past. It's snowing, and I hate the snow. I'm going to go do things I said I was going to do. Bye.